Hello, everybody. This is Chaplain Bob. Listen, I'm going to be offline for a while. I have not left YouTube, and I haven't done anything to that new website. So, you know, just to let you know, I'm going to be offline for a while. YouTube hasn't booted me off yet. And uh, I'm trying to uh, assist the family in getting out of here. Not sure... If I was going to go, I don't know, whatever the Lord leads, uh, you know, so we'll see what happens. But uh, I've got a house to paint, got furniture to move, got all kinds of stuff to do. So um, I'm going to be neglecting Bible studies. And honestly, I just haven't felt um, inspired to do any studies lately, so... You know, God's judgment is coming upon America for her wickedness and Europe. I love Psalm 1611. Thou wilt show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Remember, Jesus said on the right hand would he would separate the sheep, and on the left hand he would separate the goats. Well, if you're on the right hand, there's going to be pleasures, and if you're on the left, well, um, think about the left, you know, the Democratic Party, right? Not that the Republicans are any better. They're really not. They say, but they don't do. So, I don't know. Here's another one, Psalms 147.11. The Lord taketh pleasure in them that fear him, in those that hope in his mercy. Psalms 149.4. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. In the book of Ezekiel, chapter 18, verse 23, there's a question. Have I any pleasure at all that the wicked should die, saith the Lord God, and not that he should return from his ways and live? Ezekiel 18, 32. For I have no pleasure in the death of him that dieth, saith the Lord God. Wherefore, turn yourselves and live ye. Ezekiel 33, 11. Say unto them, As I live, saith the Lord God, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his way and live. Turn ye, turn ye from your evil ways, for why will ye die, O house of Israel? I love this. Luke 12, 32, Jesus speaking. Fear not, little flock. Fear not, little flock. For it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Ooh, I love that. And our closing verse is Revelation chapter 4 and verse 11. Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. Do you know that we were created for God's pleasure? Can you imagine even Satan being created for God's pleasure? Uh, for thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. So, shouldn't we do the Lord a pleasure? Be obedient, love him, trust him, 
I think so. All right, well, if you don't hear from me for a while, I'm, I haven't uh, dropped off the face of the earth, God willing. And uh, I'll be back. Hopefully, maybe when I come back, I'll be retired and uh, have even more time to do Bible studies, God willing. All right, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor to the Lamb of God slain before the foundation of the world. And that name, above all names, is Jesus. In his precious name, amen.